Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. After installing Android 14 Beta 5 on the Pixel 7 Pro, I managed to record a 4K60 video outdoors in the summer for more than one hour and I didn't want to stop until I did it myself. So in today's video, I will do a battery drain and thermal management test for the Pixel 7 Pro after installing Android 14. And I will compare the results against the same test I did back in October 2022 when I first got the device with Android 13. So without further ado, let's jump in. I will start with a normal battery drain test and I tried to match everything I did back in October to make sure that the only difference is in the software version. So I set the display to 1440p resolution. I will be using LTE connection throughout the whole comparison. Smooth display is activated and the screen brightness is calibrated. And now it's time to begin the comparison. Test number one will be a zoom meeting for one hour. So let's see how well the 7 Pro will perform with Android 14, keeping in mind that I've been using this phone as my daily driver for the past nine months, and definitely the battery is not in the same condition. So even if I got the same results, that will be an improvement on its own. After each test, I will show you the results of the previous video next to today's one, but if you want to watch it yourself, you will find the link in the description below. In the previous test, the 7 Pro dropped the data connection to H plus after about 40 minutes, but thankfully it didn't happen this time and it kept the same LTE connection. So I'm expecting it to lose more battery and emit more heat than last time to deliver a better performance. And after one full hour, the 7 Pro lost 19% versus only 16% back in October, and the temperature was 50 degrees Celsius, which is also worse than the 46.3 degrees of last time. But again, it kept the LTE connection for the whole period instead of switching to H+. Now it's time for the gaming test. And let's see if this one will work in favor of Android 14. I started with 80% as it lost 1% few seconds after the previous test. Here I used Temper Run 2 which supports 120Hz refresh rate and kept it looping endlessly. After one full hour of gaming, the 7 Pro lost 18% versus 17% back in October and the temperature is 45.1 degrees versus 44.3 respectively. So it's very close in battery percentage and temperature, but slightly worse. But after looking closely into this, I found that the 7 Pro back in October was running the game on H plus instead of LTE. So the slightly more usage and temperature are justifiable. And that proves for the second time that Android 14 tolerates the heat more when compared to Android 13. And that's exactly what happened with the Zoom meeting. A better performance and more battery usage. Next, I will play the same exact 2160p HDR video at 60 frames per second on YouTube. And the battery percentage is 62%. So let's begin. After the full hour of 4K HDR video playback, the 7 Pro lost 20%, which is exactly the same as last time and the same 46 degrees of temperature too. Now let's move on to the social media scrolling and the phone lost 1% while preparing for this test, starting at 41% battery. Here I will use a third party app for auto scrolling. In this test, the 7 Pro lost 20% versus 22% back in October, which is 2% better than before, and the temperature was almost the same at 46 degrees. To finish the remaining battery, I will redo the same rounds again, but with a duration of 30 minutes instead of one hour, and use the same sequence until the phone dies. I started the second zoom round at 20%, and after 30 minutes, the battery is at 9%. So let's start the second gaming round. And finally, the 7 Pro battery is flat after 23 minutes of gaming, while in October it made it till the end and played extra 20 minutes of the 4K60 video on YouTube before dying, which means it lost a total of 27 minutes of screen on time when compared to October 2022. On paper, it sounds like it's worse, but there are three important factors to consider. Number one, nine months ago with Android 13, the 7 Pro dropped the data connection from LTE to H plus in the video calling and gaming at lower temperatures. But with Android 14, the temperature reached 50 degrees without dropping the data connection speed. Yes, it consumed more battery than last time, but that means that Android 14 is more tolerant to heat and it delivers better performance. Secondly, using the phone daily for nine months means that the battery capacity is definitely less than before. Third, even though the battery capacity is worse, but it consumed 2% less in the Facebook scrolling and it was the same in the YouTube test. With all these factors in mind, I think Android 14 improved the battery life and it tuned the thermal management to provide better performance, which gives me a hope that the Pixel 8 with Android 14 and a more efficient 3 nanometer chipset 
will deliver a solid experience. Now there is only one thing left to test, which is the 4K60 video recording. In October, it stopped recording after eight minutes and six seconds, and in December, it improved to reach slightly above 17 minutes. So let's do it again with Android 14 under the same exact conditions and a room temperature of 25 degrees to see what's gonna happen. Surprisingly, it kept recording for more than 80 minutes without any signs that it's gonna stop anytime soon. So I measured the temperature and it was between 36 to 37 degrees and that's when I knew it will never end the recording. So I decided to stop it myself and this is the first time to see such a performance from a Pixel phone. And as I mentioned before, the maximum duration I got from the 7 Pro was 17 minutes back in December 2022. So I decided to push it further this time and try it outdoors in the balcony. Today is August 14, which is summer at 6 p.m. The sun is still there. The outside temperature is 38 degrees Celsius, which is 13 degrees higher than my room temperature. And this screenshot shows that it feels like 47. So you can imagine the humidity. And now let's see how far it can go. Shockingly, the 7 Pro kept recording for so long. I kept measuring the temperature and it was consistently within the 43 degrees mark. So I kept it recording till it managed to reach one hour and is still going. So I decided to stop it as I was sweating like crazy. The sun went down and I couldn't tolerate it any longer. And now let's sum up everything. Android 14 improved the thermal management drastically, which in return improved the performance because of the less thermal throttling. And in some scenarios, it consumes the same or less battery when compared to Android 13, even after using this phone for nine months as my daily driver. So I would say that Google did an amazing job and I'm very excited to see how the Pixel 8 will perform. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my battery and thermal management test for the Pixel 7 Pro after installing Android 14 Beta 5. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.